Boss, how far now? Why are they crying now? What did they happen now? Boss, what did they happen now? They say one sleep. Now, if you sleep, they can't hear the crying. What's in the shop? I know, boss. Why are they crying now? No vex, they carry camera, they can't video you. But why are they crying now? Not just few hours, and I'm calling. So, we think I'll put on the kind of video this man said to me now. You more than this video, okay? You see the video, man, of course, sent to my phone to my WhatsApp line. You cry more than this. Do you believe you have chased man of course? Yes, yes, yes. What happened? He has when they say, Do you believe you have chased him out from his project because of this incident? Even when they, even when they, even when they, even when they, He's not he, he's not greedy now. He's not greedy. At least the the evidence took say uh, say no say no being drawn. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Right now. I don't even know what to do. Even right now, I'm not too strong. I don't have much on me to say. Come, let me open the door and do one thing for you. I don't know what to do. So, this can't be this one. But wait, but see the the video there. Yes, I'll I'll put it there. Not all my fans. All my viewers watch it. Maybe they have any contribution or anything that I need to man up and do it. Please, right now, I need everybody support. Please, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say right now. Please, you guys should just support me. Any way you can support man of God right now. But she has already finished. Sure. I can't. I was. I just. I was. I, I, I was just trying to see when I when I saw the notification. Oh, when I open my WhatsApp, it's man of God. And if you see the video, like if you see this, man, this, this, this video, this man, this, this man was crying. Pastor Kevin was crying just because they sent him out. They lock his office. They lock everything about him. Between now and 24 hours. Oh. Please, you can, please. At this point, I don't know what to say. But if you, if you can help this man of God in any way, please support him. Not just me, all my fans over the world. Please support him. God bless you. Thank you. Hey guys, when I just watch this video, I beg. I beg. After watching this video, I beg. Just help us share this video. Drop your opinion in the comment section. I beg. They wanna help me. Just beg the church, man of God, to work. I beg. Because this thing is getting beyond. I beg. Oh God. Oh my God, everyone, you ever, whosoever you are, that has made me to lose my place in ministry. We have seven. They have chased me out. They have kicked me out, believing the allegation and everything that I've gone through. Whoever you are, be it male and female, I don't care to know. You will never have peace. You will never have peace. The fire of God will consume you wherever you are. Let this ground become too hot for you. Let this ground become too hot for you. Wherever you go, I don't care to know where you are. Outside and in of the country, you will never have peace. I declare judgment, judgment, interstitial judgment, 24 hours judgment on you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, in 1 Chronicles 16, verse 21 and 22, said, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Everyone that is responsible, <laughs> may the Lord judge you. May the Lord judge you. May the Lord judge you. Wherever you are, I decree 24 hours, 24 hours, instant judgment. If I be a man of God, if I be a man of God, I decree 24 hours judgment on you, wherever you are, be it male or female, known or unknown, wherever you are. May the Lord judge you. The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. God is fighting for me. And I know that my Redeemer liveth, and he will speak for in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. It is well. It is well, Mr. Ralph. It is well. It is well. Between now and 24 hours, you will see the hand of God. You will know that he has called me. The Bible says that he reproved kings for their said. Say, touch not my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. In all these things, we are more than conquerors. My God is a prayer answering God. He's a man of war. He's a consuming fire. The Lord is fighting for me. It is well. It is well, Mr. Raph. Thanks so much. Sorry, I have to. I have to. I am angry in my spirit. I am so angry in my spirit. I know you have never seen me like this before. It is because of how angry I am in my spirit. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6, seeing it is a righteous name we got to recompense tribulation to them that are. It said, let the wickedness of the wicked perish, come to an end. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. Hello, um, Mr. Raph. Um, trust your, your fine. 
um, after I left you and went home and the pastorage where I stay and you know after during the incident a lot of people were believing the report of that same guy that was saying so many nasty things so I've a lot of people were discouraged and they gave up on me thinking that i am guilty of the offense but i thank god for proving himself mighty on my behalf i went back trying to gather myself again and push on with the work of god and with what god has called me into and um, when i got back here um, the pastorage where i stay they've pushed me out and they locked my office they they locked everywhere that i'm supposed to have entered they told me to go and look for somewhere else to to start what god has called me into start the ministry again as i am like this i am confused i don't know where to start i don't know where to begin again but i know the god that i serve that is a prayer answering God. He will never put me to shame. I know that the devil is out to frustrate what God is doing in the lives of men and women. And he doesn't want them to have their blessing. As I'm talking to you at this moment, I am discouraged. I am confused. I don't have anywhere to stay. I, I have been pushed out. I don't know where to start. Always as if I'm starting all over again. And... With this, with this, I had to do this um, call to you because of how serious the incident is over here. And because I am crying like this, ah, everyone that is responsible, I don't care to know who they are, who the man, a group, I don't care to know male or female. As long as they walk on this earth, as long as they walk on this ground, as far as they drink water, I decree the instant 24 hours judgment of God on them. Everyone that has dragged my name to the mud, everyone that wants to put the name of God to shame, everyone that wants to frustrate the ministry, the work that God has called me into, by the hand of him that has called me, I did not call myself. It is God that called me into this fold. I decree the judgment of God upon them. In the name of Jesus, let the ground be too hot for them. As long as they walk on this earth, the fire of God will be too hot for them. They will never have peace. And it says, let peace be taken from them. In the name of Jesus, let their way be slippery and dark. Let them become a shaft before the wind. In the name of Jesus, just as they have made me to go through this pain, Jehovah will judge them. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 6, saying it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble us. First Chronicles 16 verse 21 and 22, he said, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm, because they have touched God's servant. I pray, if I be a man of God, as I go on my knees, I pray the distant judgment of God upon them, everywhere they are, let them not have peace. I take peace from them. I seize their peace and their happiness. Let the ground be too hot on them. The fire of God, I decree 24 hours divine judgment. If I be a man of God, I declare 24 hours divine judgment on everyone that has done this. They did the first one, I forgave. But this one, let God judge. Let God judge them. Let God judge them in the name of Jesus. I know the God that I serve is a prayer answering God. I know the God that I serve is a prayer answering God. Ah, the Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Psalm 46 verse 9 and 10. He said, He maketh wars to cease to the ends of the earth. He said, He breaketh the bowl in asunder, the spear in asunder. He said, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the even. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. I had to send this video to you uh, because of the pain and the agony that I'm going through. I pray that God in heaven will fight for me. God in heaven will fight for me. 
divine judgment divine judgment i have never been this angry in my spirit before but this one i can't take this one i can't take this one the shame the reproach the agony the things i have to be through but i press forward paul said i press forward not looking at the things that has happened one thing i do i don't look behind the things that happen i press forward for the mark of the high calling i press forward i press forward i press forward i cannot be discouraged I cannot be discouraged. I encourage myself in the law. Acts 26 verse 22, Paul was speaking. He said, Having therefore obtained the help of God, I continue to this day. I press forward. I press forward. I'll keep on doing what God has called me to. I will not be discouraged of what is happening. I cannot be discouraged. The devil is a liar. He has always been a liar from the beginning. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 31, What shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? In 37, he said, Nay, in all the states, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. I know that all things are working together for my good. Things are falling on to me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a godly riches. It is well. The Lord is fighting for me. The Lord is fighting for me. The Lord is fighting for me. He will not leave me nor forsake me. He that keepeth Israel neither sleep nor slumber he is always there he's always there he said when i pass through the rivers it will not overflow when i pass through the fire it will not kindle upon me therefore it said in isaiah 43 18 remember you know the former things i don't want to remember he said no that consider the things of all for behold i would do a new thing i know god is about to do a new thing in my life in my ministry in all that he has called me into God is about to do anything. Now, he shall speak forth. He will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This is the word of God. And David said, remember the words unto thy servant, on which thou hast caused me to hope. For this is my comfort in my affliction. Thank you, Jesus.